Hardcore Iron Man Limited to PvP Worlds. You guys know the rule, if you kill my Hardcore Iron Man, I will reward you with 200 mil in game. Hello. Look, there's a major stand right there. Gonna log in on it. Two hundred and thirty-eight K. I have now. 300k GP from killing Cyclops. Here we go, the content clue. So the first step, we can do. The second step, we can do. Third step. <laughs> Yikes. We're safe. And the next clue we uh, can possibly do. We we'll still need the blue dragon eye, the vampires, and the rune pickaxe. Rune pickaxe 32k purchased. The blue dragon hide vein breezes is a bit trickier and I have two options. I either get myself 66 crafting, that's 22 new crafting levels, Ooh. or I kill monsters. And I'm going to try my RNG by killing water fiends. And that's the barbarian training completed. Down, down, down. Whee! First kill, can we get lucky? Sapphire bolts. Second kill, staff of water. So apparently I have been killing water fins all wrong. They have very high defense stats, except for crush weapons. So my dragon scimitar won't work as effective as maybe a fire battle staff. What is this? <gasps> that's not good. I killed him. And I killed his friend too. Good fight. <laughs> 1 point 1.1 1 mil. Coins. And we get more coins. I had a quick look at Mr. No Sleep's loot from 1000 Water Fiends video. And in these 1000 kills, Mr. No Sleep didn't get a single Blue Dragon Hide Vampires drop. So it's not looking too bright for me. 75 strength. Raw Shark. Sharks. Now I have some tank food. Sna <gasps> Snape grass poggers. I did a bit more investigation. I found this guy called Golden Scape who did 12 hours of water fiends. And he too didn't get a single blue dehyde vampires drop. And as we all know, RuneScape wiki may be wrong at some times. So I'm gonna go back to the old fashioned way and just trade my crafting up. That's one. Boom, 40 mining. We can now mine gold ores for the smithing. We can now smelt gold ore to gold bars. Very, very handy for crafting. At the time of this recording, I almost have 200 gems and I'm gonna make these all into jewelry. So I'm gonna get myself some golden bars. Believe it or not, but I'm actually not going to mine my gold bars. I'm just going to buy them from this guy here at Motherlone Mine. I just spent over 150k buying gold ores and silver ores, but I think what it was worth it. It's time to put you all to a test. Can you name the celebration of all these five content creators? Starting now, go. Oh my god. 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 <laughs> Oh my goodness! No way they wouldn't have been expecting that. Ooh, hello. Poor girls look at me, I'm looking like a beast. Alright, this is going to be my last uh, tacos. 1608 left. After this, we're out of tacos, and my only way to get more tacos is by getting more chaos and death runes. 
And sadly, the best place to get more chaos and deference is Barrows. Why you bullying me? Barrows chest 138 without getting a single Barrows piece. Someone put me on suicide watch. Huh. And I'm back to Motherlow Mine to buy some gold and silver ore for my crafting. So that's basically another 200k spent just from buying gold ores and silver ores. And that's 51 crafting. I'll come back to you when I'm 52. And there we go, 52 crafting. I'll come back to you when I'm 53 crafting. Woo! Woo! And that is the long awaited 53 crafting. So here's the thing. The more dry I get at barrels, the more people have been showing up lately. So I need to get that first item down so I can move on with my life and never come back. And dry again. For anyone wondering, the best reward potential when opening a barrel chest is 88%. Some say 100, but it's, it's basically 88% because then you get the highest amount of runes. So here we go. Good amount of runes indeed. Jagex. Why you bullying me? Why you bullying me? This skeleton will be my slayer task completed. And we're gonna open the barrel chest, go one dry, and never come back. 100%? Here we go. <gasps> oh, oh! Wait. <laughs> Are you joking with me? Are you telling me my first fucking item? Jagex. Jagex. Why? Out of everything, that could have been a Carol's top, Carol's bottom, Varrock's bottom. No, I'm getting the Carol's coif. Well, we are no longer dry. New task from Machinima, Killer Watts. That's a good one. I said I was going to leave Barrows after that chest, but I can't leave without going for the back-to-back -back item. I don't expect any item for 140 chests, but here we go. Back-to-back, -back, are we lucky? <laughs> never lucky. Never, never lucky. Actually, I really enjoy Killer Watts because they drop plenty of nature runes. Task completed, and we got ourselves 63 nature runes from this task. I really want to start getting Slayer Task from Neve, which requires 85 combat level, so I'm gonna rush it real quick. Oh, hello. Dragonstone. Okay, this one is it. 76 strength. It's now time to up the ante. I'm changing my 60 defense Dragon Pure into a 70 defense Carol's Coif Pure. Here we go, 61 defense, 84 combat, and the Dragon Pure has been ruined. 62 defense, 78 hit points, 63 defense. Oh wait, what? Holy shit. 85 combat, 64 defense, perfect. We can now leave this place. And we started that Cyclops session with 100k. Now we have 356k. My first ever Slayer task from Neve, Hellhounds, 170. I, I grinded a lot of crafting levels for this clue scroll, but I've decided to drop it. I will very likely get another clue from the Hellhounds task. Third kill, and we got a clue. I'm not doing that one again. Here we go, clue scroll. Can we do it? No, we can't. 57 Slayer, 65 defense. Hello, level 108, I saw him. I can go there on my main. Good fight. Gange robes. Bolt track. 860k pk, very nice. And this is the task completed, I received 12 points. And the next task, Black Demons. We got the content clue, can we do the content clue? Here we go, we can do this one. Completed. Step two requires me to have 80 Slayer, so we gotta say... Bye. Here we go, 66 defense. Ooh, 58 Slayer. Ooh, I can get myself a Black Mask. Ooh, 82 range. That took a while, but we have the task completed. 
12 more points. Ankus 89. Schmadoodle. And that's task completed. Fire Giants, uh, very good. 67 defense. 59 Slayer. 46 Prayer. Skitty Pipa Pa. Now, brr, brr, boom. That's task completed. The next task is going to be Greater Demons 165. Ooh, 68 defense. And that's task completed. We got 60 points. We are two points away from the big, big milestone. But before that, we're gonna do this card clue scroll. Step one. Completed. I don't have a heraldic helm, so I have to drop this clue scroll. Alright, next task for the 300 points 12 black dragons. I'm so happy about this kill. This kill means 310 points, and I can now officially make broad bolts. And we're gonna wrap up the episode with that. We managed to get ourselves an Obimal in this episode, a very, very good crush weapon. We got ourselves broad bolts, currently the strongest range bolts for me right now on the account plus 100 range strength and of course the carol's coif our first sparrows item i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode make sure to leave a like and remember to subscribe to pewdiepie